Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Welcome to Content Marketing Takedown. Welcome to another episode of Content Marketing Takedown. Today, we're going to be talking about the well-known CRM software company, Salesforce. So Salesforce is big, mighty, um, public, worth billions of dollars, but they still as is the case with many companies, don't get everything right. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the ups and downs of their current strategy and potentially some areas um, that they can improve. But as context, they're, they're a CRM. They basically help you drive more sales through uh, customer relationship management, as it were, as an acronym. So on that note, um, kind of digging into their blog specifically, they just a very minor like attention to detail thing. If we look at their title tag, you can actually see it's pretty, pretty keyword stuffed, potentially ignored. Maybe someone set this like years ago and it's just a mess. At least worth pointing out that that was something that stood out in kind of looking at them, um, that, that it wasn't nearly as good um, as it could. They also do infographics with some decent regularity. And something I noticed on how they display infographics is that the user experience is not great. So when you actually get to the infographic itself, it's not full width, so they're actually trying to nudge you to go full width with that content and see it in full view, which is fine. But from a user standpoint, I can't actually click this. So I browse, I'm like trying to find out what's going on here. And then I realize that they actually have a call to action link in this spot to view the infographic. To me, a more ideal scenario would be design an infographic for the format full width such that it's readable without having to click to see the full version. But in a worst case scenario, you had to do that. At least making this infographic clickable, I think would solve for that and be a better user experience um, than it currently is. Another thing about this vertical generally is CRM software, CRM, and what is CRM and what is CRM software are all very super lucrative terms. So it's a massive fight to win these and doing them correctly, I think, uh, is critical to, in order to compete. So Salesforce does compete by nature of their raw authority and the fact that people do think of Salesforce for this term in particular, but it's not necessarily perfect. So one thing I do like that they do is they will immediately lead in with the quick answer of what a CRM is. This is a simple definition of a CRM. And then they say, keyword is blank. That framework is one we've seen consistently be successful in terms of solving for a quick answer and how a robot might look for confidence-inducing structure from the definition that they see um, on page. But one thing I noticed in actually looking at the search result and is a common part of our search result analysis is seeing what the SERP looks like in terms of what content is being highlighted, which in turn should be the reference point for what your content should be as well, at least from our vantage point. So if we look at this search result, we see video immediately for what is CRM. And if you scroll down, um, it's, there are a lot of definitions, and that is pretty common. From out, without this, Wikipedia is more of a definitional type term. And, but for the most part, the main thing that punches you in the face is the definition and also a video, primary. And generally, the higher up on the page it is, the clearer signifier that that's what people want from that SERP. So we should, as users, also include that on non-video, uh, on our non-video content. So Salesforce does have a video on this, but it, to me, it's even too buried on their actual result. I would put this up front and closer into action in order to better solve for the actual user experience um, of getting people a definition in that visual format that people want. So moving into kind of how they think about uh, video generally, if we look at what is CRM as a term, we'll actually see that what Salesforce does is they, uh, I thought an interesting application in looking at the way they work is you'll see that their what is CRM video in order to rank for this, they made it more like a TV ad. And while it's cool that somehow they align those incentives that someone on the uh, direct marketing uh, team bought, they got this budget and someone on the SEO team was like, let's actually position this video to be um, keyword focused. They actually do a bad job of solving for that. So we'll cut to the video, but show you um, and kind of give you a little snippet of how Salesforce does this. 
CRM is life. <laughs> yeah. It's a way to organize anything, really. CRM is how you keep track of everything that you're doing with your customers. CRM is a lot more than just a sales tool. It really is a communication device. So as you can see of how they looked at their, their video is structured, there's no clear answer of what is CRM anytime early in, in the video. It's more of a clear ad for Salesforce. And unfortunately, if I'm a user who actually doesn't want to be sold Salesforce, but just wants to know what is CRM, that is actually a bad result. So something there's a good reason why if you actually look at the search result, they're not currently ranking for this, and they're also not currently ranking for it on YouTube either because of that reason, at least from my inference, is that they're not actually solving for the user intent. They're trying to be uh, heavy-handed in their own application of that, um, of that video strategy. So if we actually look at who's doing well, there's a much more basic way of solving for the quick answer, and we can play a quick snippet of that. Um, as well. When people don't have a CRM, they will track their new prospects, uh, leads on sticky notes, business cards, Excel spreadsheet. Their conversations may live in Outlook or Gmail. Um, and essentially, those folks are looking for a CRM, which is a customer relationship management system. Mm -hmm. So they want to house all those contacts in one central location, and that's what a CRM can do. For small business owners, they wear a lot of hats. They're very busy. They need to make sure that they have all... So as we see in this video, it's a much clearer description of what CRM is. They immediately go into CRM is blank. And this structure, if you're a robot, they can easily, with confidence, pull that out. And also for users, that's just what you want. There are studies that say what video watch time and dwell time and total watch time all contribute to uh, YouTube rankings, and that is true. But that also doesn't mean delay your answer for minutes. Uh, I think a nice balance is to quickly solve for the answer and then give more depth in order to retain the user and hold them in order to get that ranking um, over time. So if I was Salesforce, I would create a new video that quickly answers for it, I'd push it higher up on the search result, and I think overall that will help them rank better uh, for what is CRM, both on YouTube and on other networks uh, than they are currently. One of the things that came up as well is just this general sloppiness of Salesforce's content strategy and digital strategy on their site. In a lot of different places, and we saw with the infographic earlier, it just generally is feels not perfectly put together. It feels like this is a sales company, not a content company, and it kind of comes through. They do try with content, it's very clear to me, but not always does it connect. And, 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 a, and a, an instance of this in action is if we look at this article about the power of geofencing, their image for the hero is actually a different width than the actual copy. This creates a feeling of sloppiness and actually re reoccurs with an infographic as well. To me, your content container, almost always the images should map to that unless you have a specific design that solves for that in a way that makes it look less sloppy. But in the, in the Salesforce example, you can see every single instance is actually content that is structured or aligned incorrectly. It's not centered at very least. It's left aligned, the copy bleeds to the right, and this creates a sloppy, uh, not to punch that home, but to punch it home, uh, inefficient, uh, less impressive usage of content. So if they more uniformly structured that, I think they'd be more effective and also leave a better impression of Salesforce as they move forward um, as well. Looking at another important topic for them, what is cloud computing? Uh, an issue with this article in particular is they're not actually solving for the answer of what is cloud computing early on in the article. As we talked about structure, something we've noticed with quick answers and any kind of other article as well, it's important to answer that almost upfront if the keyword is what is cloud computing because that's exactly what users are trying to find or you're definitely gonna get outranked by the more Investopedia or maybe not Investopedia, but definitional type sites like Wikipedia, et cetera, that actually do a better job of that um, than Salesforce currently does. And you can see they have a video down and near the bottom, but it's really, not that great. It also um, doesn't solve very quickly for what, what cloud computing is, as we saw was a common problem with their video marketing strategy and the other instances. And because it's further down, just as it was with the CRM video, it's likely not solving for the user intent in a, in a good way. It doesn't make it very clear also that that's what they're answering with this video. They do, but it's not what is cloud computing? Then you see a video. As a user, I feel in, in that it, that it actually does solve for what I'm looking for. 
and that will make a difference um, for, for this article and for what they're doing. It is pretty in-depth and detailed, but otherwise, um, from an actual SERP analysis standpoint and a query analysis standpoint, they don't solve most of the obvious things about definitions that um, commonly make sense to do. So in looking at their blog, just in, uh, or actually, sorry, the footer of their site, one thing I like that they do do that some people don't is actually when they tell you you're pushing off the site, they create a little usability call or, or uh, note that says you're going to be taken into a new tab rather than open in the same window. And I think that's fine as long as you're telling users what's happening. Um, it's not the most beautiful way of indicating it on the actual footer, but at least you know as a user that I am being taken to a new tab, which from a um, patterns point of view, or user patterns point of view, I think it does map to a, a, an okay experience for them. And it's one way of potentially doing that uh, for your own sites as well. Something that stood out about their blogs and looking at some of them is that they actually have this big image at the top, but a common feeling and it relates to the sloppiness is that they use this hero image of these birds. And if you load it on your site and we preload it in this example, so it actually loads somewhat quickly, but this top image is actually one megabyte in size. So there's no reason this hero should be that large in size and it's in many different places on the site. And that's an unfortunate negative of a very prominent use here that loads slowly on almost every browser speed that you have. And that's going to be an issue um, for them in that one megabyte should never be the size of a hero image. I think re reasonably, especially for an image like this, it could be 200, mega 200 kilobytes or less. And they're, they're just haven't optimized for that and thought that through very clearly which again is an indicator of a sloppy content strategy. So in general, for you, always be optimizing those hero images. Ideally, they should be under that 200 kilobyte level just to solve for um, site speed and all of those things. And Salesforce, unfortunately, has it with currently how they structure um, that hero area. What is CRM is actually something that's that is ranking for CRM software for them currently. So it's interesting to see like an infographic type setup um, ranking quite well, but unfortunately, they're just broken in some ways. Again, relating to the sloppiness, you can see this left rail actually has some formatting issues where one thing is bleeding into the next section, and that's not creating a great feeling for them um, for sure. The infographic is also just not that great for such an important page that's ranking for such a big topic to have an infographic that's kind of hard to read. In this situation, we again can't click and enlarge this. It's hard to um, get a good feeling from it. It would be better if it was more scannable, bigger font. Uh, all of those things can leave a better feeling and better defined CRM software for a user as well in order to make them a better result um, for this type of query and also just make this more linkable. They've definitely done some outreach with this asset in order to generate links back to Salesforce, but the way it's, it looks now, it's just not very effective um, and could definitely be improved from a design standpoint to be more so with the times um, than it is currently. Another thing just generally with Salesforce and their content marketing strategy, and then you look at their blog, it's kind of all over the place in terms of what they're trying to accomplish. They'll do a news story, they'll do a sales tip, they'll do a perspective of CTO, and maybe some people read this just because of pure might and size of who Salesforce is, but I think it could be way more effective than it is currently. I think uh, as a something that uh, a company that they should hold up in high regard is HubSpot and their sales blog. Just to give a quick sense of the, the market opportunity here, and someone they actually do compete with in some ways with HubSpot CRM, uh, their sales section specifically, which is just the path, is worth 2.8 million. So you can see if Salesforce even sort of tried with content marketing and put some uh, link might behind it as well, and there's a lot of clear upside with clear traffic bottom funnel value as they write to salespeople who might use their CRM. So it's a huge missed opportunity for, for Salesforce right now, as far as I can see it. to do some scattered work in this regard in looking at their site, but for the most part, Salesforce is just okay. From a content marketing standpoint, they're trying um, but if I was going to give Salesforce a score today, I'd give them a C and uh, have some room for improvement. But I'm sure if they looked at my CRM strategy, they'd probably give me a D as well. So 
Um, nobody's perfect, neither is Salesforce. So if you have any thoughts about Salesforce current strategy, we'd love to hear those in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and let us know what you thought. Thank you.